Near the southern border of Georgia in Central Asia lies the small hilltop town of Dumanisi. Excavations here by David Lord Kipanidzi of the Georgian National Museum have uncovered the oldest remains of early human ancestors ever seen outside Africa. Field scientists working at the site in the year 2000 uncovered the fossil of a large jawbone that dates back to 1.8 million years ago. Five years later, in 2005, the team carefully unearthed the large skull that went with the jaw. Together, the fossils make the most complete skull ever found of an early human ancestor alive at that time. The skull is spectacular in its own right, but the implications of the fossils have sent shockwaves through the scientific community. The discovery has forced them to rethink the story of early human evolution. That's because the skull, when considered with other remains from the site, shows that early human ancestors, known as Homo erectus, could look very different to one another. So different, in fact, that fossils thought to come from different species of human ancestors in Africa, such as Homo habilis and Homo rudolfensis, may not have been separate species at all. Instead, the scientists believe that all, or at least most, of these creatures belong to one evolving lineage of Homo erectus. The discovery has challenged our fundamental understanding of early human evolution. <laughs>